Good morning and welcome to our weekly subspace developer sync. Uh, today we're going to get updates from everyone on the team, uh, on the engineering team, talk about what they've been working on in this last week and what the planned focus is for this week. As always, we'll start with the core protocol team. Nazar, can you kick us off? Of course. Hey, everyone. Um, last week was relatively productive. Um, first of all, we were trying to launch our internal uh, test network uh, for the team. It didn't quite happen yet. However, we have discovered a whole bunch of different uh, nuances with the network we had, and we have done a lot of improvements. And at this point, it seems like everyone is able to sync and produce blocks and, and so on, which is great. Um, also, we have improved a little bit our CI pipelines. Uh, there is one pull request which was merged, one that is still under review, um, that should give us a little bit more capacity for macOS workers, so we can run more things in parallel, essentially. Um, and there was also an um, update to Leaper to peer which should, ha uh, should fix some of the problems we have seen on the DSN. And there was also a fix for long-standing issue, which we didn't know the reason for, um, with root block mismatch, where there was basically a synchronous uh, kind of race condition between uh, importing two blocks at the same height. And when that happened, in some cases, uh, there was just barely enough time for things to go wrong. And that was also fixed, and it will be a part of the next snapshot, which we'll probably have today. So yeah, lots of exciting things for the core protocol. And for this week, I think uh, after launch, we will see some more issues, and there are already some things we are planning to improve both on the um, general um, implementation of the farmer and also on the DSN uh, specifically. Great, it was, it was quite a productive week last week. So good to see you. Um, Shamil, how's the DSN? Okay, uh, last week I made uh, multiple improvements to support our testnet. I created several CLI arguments for the DSN uh, apps like enabling private IPs in the Academia DHT uh, reserved peers. I implemented several features to clean up internal networking structures, like removing peers with incorrect peer ID and persistent farmer uh, peer ID. This, uh, these features uh, prevent incorrect requests with outdated addresses. I made several request butchers to speed up uh, data, data publishing and receiving using DSM. This week, um, I plan to finish the last request butcher for the node application and continue with the transition to Kademlia pool model using start providing API. That's it. Okay, um, Lu Chang. Yeah, last week the refactoring of the initial code domain node implementation was able to be finished. Um, there are no new major updates on the domains, just, you know, several bug fixes and refactorings and to do uh, soft. And I also looked into the secondary network issue and uh, have a branch like, making it work. And we will talk about more in the code protocol thing. For this week, no specific big plans. Uh, the general thing is to like have push forward the cross domain messaging the tested domain runtime upgrade and uh, consider fix the domain test and probably add test for the co domain. Uh, also, you know, support adding a uh, co domain dynamically, et cetera. Yeah, that's the updates on my side. Yeah. Okay. Great. Ved, update on cross domain messaging. Hey everyone. Um, last week was mostly a bit of infra, but on also simultaneously working on the next spec for uh, domain cross domain transactions that could be routed between um, between the executor node itself. Uh, the PR is mostly done. Uh, hopefully, we can get that in the next couple of days. Uh, I think we may have to reset the network. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, a few hours resetting the network once we make a release this week. Apart from that, uh, get uh, apart from that this week mostly focusing on getting the uh, the, the cross domain messages PR in and then uh, some other changes to the transporter. Uh, there are still some to dos in the transporter that I haven't had a chance to fix. But again, that was never intended for this release. We we, we have some time, so we are we are getting head start on that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. All right. 
hearth. So yeah, um, on my end, I've been um, working on the cross-chain um, relay design documents, um, as well as archi uh, architecture and um, and the domain design documents as well. So last week, uh, we, me and Jeremiah had a good call regarding the design of the domain and. Um, last week and this week my task would be to flesh out the specification as well as create the design uh, document for the domain as as well as um, design smart contract of course all of this is like at, at very high level at the implementation plan the details can still be changed great ning how are things going Hi. Uh, for the last week, most of my time are spending on coding, and I am working on the pilot receipt, which is uh, used to manage all the receipt related on chain states for both the uh, system domain and the code domain. And the uh, most part is done, and but I still working on uh, polishing the code and uh, adding tests, and also. Uh, uh, I think it will be a uh, submit a PR for soon. And I for this week I'm working on uh, some to do in the execution layer that I had seen in the code and have some idea how to do that. Yeah, it's great already coding. How long has it been <laughs> since you since you joined them? Like four weeks. Yeah, it has been four weeks. Okay, great. Um, our newest team member is Rahul. Uh, Rahul, do you want to introduce yourself? And maybe give a quick hey. second on your onboarding. Yeah, so hey, I'm Rahul. I joined the protocol team uh, two weeks back. Uh, so I've been mostly doing onboarding and uh, reading up on the different documents and stuff. And uh, I met uh, some team members. I, I still need to meet a uh, few others. So this week, I hope to get uh, like more clarity on what what's my started project and hopefully start uh, making some concrete uh, uh, you know work items. That's my current status. Well, it's great to have you. Um, so looking forward to to seeing what we can get done. Um, all right, switching to product, Arthur. How are things coming? Good. Uh, updates on our end. Subwallet and Subscan have both reached out to them. They're in the process of updating our Block Explorer and their wallet to support Gemini 3. Um, that's the major updates on the partner side. I'll let the team explain the rest. Serge. Hi. So on the Block Explorer backend, we have added processing of blocks. And on the front end, I fixed a bunch of relatively minor bugs. There was an issue with router and there was an issue with updating chain info as new blocks arrive. And currently I'm working on some end-to-end -end tests. Uh, so I want to make sure that we have same, uh, we get same data from RPC and uh, from the squid for particular checkpoints. And uh, after that, I would like to address some performance issues because currently it's relatively small, both when we ingest data and retrieve data. Um, probably it has something to do with Postgres, but uh, yeah, I will have to investigate more. Great. Natasha, how are things coming on your side? Um, things have been good. Uh, last week, I uh, was working on adding the missing pages we had for the Block Explorer and also making it responsive. Um, the responses take me a little bit more time than I expected, but the PR is already up. And this week we'll be focusing on uh, fixing any bugs uh, we can find and also polishing the app uh, so it's ready for Gemini 3 launch. Great. Yvonne, how's the SDK coming along? Um, 
everything's good um, on the SDK side. Uh, it seems like it's almost fin finalized. So um, during last week, um, I was adding some minor things like um, like serialization, serialization for the config. I was checking out whether we could uh, like sync and farm from the node. Um, yeah, and we couldn't, couldn't uh, actually sync from the node, and right now it's fixed. Um, yeah. Uh, this week, uh, I'll have Oscar uh, to to import those changes into the into the CLI. Um, yeah, in general, for, we'll follow updates from the Mono repo um, and prepare for the um, for the launch party. Great. Once again, CLI coming along. As Ivan said, everything is good on the CLI side as well. Uh, we have implemented several new features, for example, forceful shutdown, uh, and also we fixed one issue with two Fairball's uh, logs fixes, uh, sorry, logs output. And also I um, organized this CLI code, like refactored heavily using the SDKs, uh, now exported configuration files. And lastly, <clears throat> Yeah, organize some of the GitHub issues. We there were some incorrect ones, and Ivan just submitted a PR for updating the uh, CLI code for according to the latest Gemini three version. And I've, after I will inspect it, uh, we will try to publish CLI before uh, after testing it, of course. Great, looking forward to using it for our stress test launch. So um all right we can move on to research daria how are things yeah. coming well the biggest uh, work uh, last week and also this week is uh, we've been working a lot with uh, dr chen feng uh on the well, formal uh, description of our protocol and security analysis and it's been great to working with someone with a lot of experience in academia and writing these things uh, because it's like a totally different language that they speak <laughs> there. Um, yeah, so it's been, uh, he been working on the, where do we stand in a taxonomy of proofs of proof of work is the most secure and proofs of stakes, where does our proof of archival storage stand? And uh, he's been working on that. And we've been also working on, um, um, bringing together other ideas that, that we can apply for a proof of replication. I have made a document about uh, um, plotting as a polynomial in two variables uh, based on one paper, and then I had uh, another idea based on ver how do we make a verification of history probably, uh, well, possibly faster or minimal based on another paper, and we're going to be meeting with him tomorrow and day after tomorrow, and then just keep working out. Great. Uh, it's great to be seeing so much progress quickly there. I think he's been a great addition. Um, all right, uh, who else do we have? Is Justin on, did, did I see? Does he, do you have an update you wanna give? Yeah. Um, so on my end, uh, we worked with Arthur last week to get a good update out for the documentation, um, documenting a lot of the CLI side and added the wallets, uh, how to guides as well. Um, so definitely check that out. Would appreciate any feedback. Uh, beyond that, we've been continuing to start implementing and working out some of the, uh, plan from our community and marketing offsite. Uh, and we are also preparing for a new, a new community manager starting today as well. Uh, Freddie will be getting started, so I'll be onboarding him and uh, starting handing off a lot of the information, obviously, that I've been taking care of on the community management side. Um, and then, as the other team mentioned, just continuing to work towards uh, preparing for Gemini 3 uh, as far as the community side goes, getting ready for that incentivized test net and testing phases as well. Great. I think uh, that only leaves me, unless I miss somebody. All right. Um, I've been working on the uh, Gemini 3 engineering roadmap, uh, in addition to starting to put together uh, information for an engineering handbook um, that we'll have for engineering. Uh, and then, you know, trying to prep, do what I can to help uh, with the Gemini 3 stress test. So um, that will be, again, the focus uh, for this week as well. So, all right. Well, Thank you for your time this morning. I uh, will see you all next week.